Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's Monday morning, about 8.30 a.m. I'm having to do a video out of desperation. Uh, I've had a number of emails from people over the weekend uh, asking for help. And there is a common denominator with all the emails. And every single person that's uh, sent me an email, uh, not everyone, but the vast majority of them, that are asking for help. Um, so I'm having to do this video uh, out of desperation, asking all of you to please just follow a few simple rules, listen to what I'm about to say, and that will change your trading life and trading experience entirely. Okay, because the, the mistakes you guys are making is very, very simple. Uh, it, it is a belief, it's, it's part of the mindset, um, and it's just what you're going out and doing, okay? Um, rule number one, a lot of people are live trading when they shouldn't be. If you've uh, just started trading, binary, whether it be binary options or forex, if you've only been doing it for a few weeks or even for a few months and you, you don't have um, a, a, a set record of success, please don't live trade. I, I don't understand this. I uh, It does my head in to see and read these emails that say, They've lost uh, thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars as a result of uh, trading. And then when you discover they've only been doing it for a few weeks, some people have just gone straight into a live brokerage account. Uh, I don't understand these guys. Uh, I, 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 I don't even understand what your motivation is as to jumping in. Um, binary options trading is not as easy as it seems. Okay, there's a few things that you need to learn, um, after which you'll be able to do this easily. Doctors out there, surgeons out there, they're not born surgeons. They're not born where, you know, hey, they've got the ability to cut a person open and perform open heart surgery. They learn as well. Everyone goes through a learning process, and the same rules apply to you here. Now, I'm a forex trader by trade, okay? A former financial advisor, I trained in forex trading. Um, in my opinion, binary is harder, okay, because you've got the time restraints. Understand that. Understand that people that are posting videos of their results or on Facebook that are posting screenshots, these people are only doing so because in most cases, they're possibly trying to get you to join their groups and they're only going to post winning screenshots or winning videos, then they're going to post where they've lost uh, a half a million dollars or uh, 50 grand or even five grand stoning. I know one guy who's cocky as hell, this guy uh, lost 300 grand trying to stone a trade. Now, yes, that's still paper money on um, in your brokerage account. Uh, it's not real money until you withdraw it into your bank account. But think about it this way. Uh, what's, what are you going to gain out of doing that sort of stuff? Think about it this way. What are you going to gain out of jumping into a live account when you've just started trading about a week ago? The main difference between a successful trader and a newbie is about 500 trades. That's all it is. You don't need to know anything special. Uh, you learn as you're doing the demo trades. And so please uh, listen carefully. Listen to what I have to say here and follow these rules and I guarantee you'll be successful. First rule is know what you're doing prior to doing so. So understand what binary options trading is. Understand what actually is involved in taking a trade. And I'm not talking about the technicalities of pressing a button in your brokerage account. I'm talking about what does binary actually mean. Understand that here's the strike price. Here is where uh, uh, price action is at, at the present moment okay what you've got to decide is do you have a strategy or an ability or even intuition that can tell you uh, with with a large degree of accuracy where the price is going to be in say 10 minutes time if if we want to do a one minute trade in one minute time in 60 seconds time if you can decipher that that's when you decide, okay, I'm going to take a trade. Now, binary options is just that. Where is this going to be in 10 minutes time, in an hour's time, in 15 minutes time, whenever? That's what you're deciding. Is it going to be higher or lower than this strike price that I want to enter at? Okay, understand that that is your goal. 
trying to tune into that and figure it out. What do we do? We um, a lot of people will say we're going we're to apply some educated guesses to that. That is our strategy. Okay, if if you're um, if you enjoy your team sports, think about it this way: you're going up against another team. Uh, the weather's raining. Um, it's it's cold. Uh, it's slippery. And so you're going to say, okay, this team performs in such a way in this um, environment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a strategy, a specific strategy against them. Your goal is to win. Your goal is to say, uh, if I take a 10-minute trade, then this price has to be, if I'm doing a put, it has to be lower than where I'm entering at in 10 minutes' time. That's your goal. Understand this concept really well. Okay. Second point, back in the day when I was an advisor, we had this rule, know your product and know your client, okay? And in this case, you are your client. Your goal is at the end of your trading session, your goal is to be richer on, in terms of your account balance with your broker, okay? If you start with $500, you want to you end with more than $500 in that account. You are the client, that's your goal. Knowing your product is again knowing what binary options trading is, knowing how to read charts, knowing how to work your um, binary options platform with your broker, uh, knowing your currency pairs, knowing the time of day that is suitable to you. If it's suitable to me, doesn't mean it will be suitable to you because at different times of the day, I know how to read charts. Um, everything is seasonal throughout the day as well for um, trading. Okay. Uh, the market behaves differently um, throughout the year as it does throughout the day. Understand all of this. It will take a little bit of time to um, get your head around this. It will take a little bit of time to learn all of this. And this is why we always say, we go to the next point, never go live with a, stra a strategy straight away because you don't know how a strategy will behave with different market conditions. You don't know how the strategy will perform in the morning as opposed to... Um, in the afternoons or late at night or uh, different months of the year. Demo, guys, demo. I don't understand. I, I, I truly i am saddened by, by some of your stories of where you've lost a th a thousands of dollars. That could have been avoided, okay? I don't understand why many of you jump straight into a live account. Please, I normally say about 200, but if you want to be a successful trader, don't don't jump onto a live account before you do about 500 trades. That's the main difference, as I've said earlier, between a newbie and a successful trader. Okay, the, the very top ones at institutions, forget about the degrees that they hold or security certificates and stuff. That makes no difference. My trading ability hasn't come from university, hasn't come from when I was a financial advisor because most of the times... We don't get taught the stuff we actually need in order to win trades. I've had to learn much of what I know now and what I'm about to teach you guys um, myself. Okay, That's come from demo trading. That's come from the hundreds of thousands of, of, of actual trades that I've taken. What you need to do is stop what you're doing right now. Shut down. Don't, don't shut down, but put your live accounts aside and get a demo account pick one or two strategies, go out there and demo at least 200, 250, 500 times. Now, if you're demoing and you've done 20, or five, 20, 25, 50 demo trades and you're not getting the high strike rates, like meaning to say about 90% plus, stop, analyze your trades, ask yourself what you're doing wrong, what are you missing with your strategies? Um, is it the time of day? Experiment, guys, keep going until you're hitting 90% plus. And even when you're hitting 90% plus, ask yourself, what's going wrong with the remaining 10%? Why are you not able to pick the market accurately when you're losing those trades? What was the reason behind you losing those trades? Because if you're not aiming for, for 100%, then I don't know what the hell you're thinking about or what, how your mind's working. Your goal should be 100% win rate every single time you trade. Okay, and if you are expecting anything less, guys, get out of trading entirely. Okay, so go out there, demo, and if something's not going right, figure out why. I had one guy, I'm not going to mention any names, uh, received a message from him over the weekend 
he's been doing my EMA6 strategy, he's done about 80 trades that he said. Okay, he has said that he's been writing them down, but out of the 80 trades, he's only won about 38 of them. Now, when I started asking questions as to why, what we quickly discovered was that he's only following half the strategy. I know that a lot of you people out there are only doing the EMA, strat uh, EMA 6 strategy <coughs> using Haikanashi charts. If you're losing any other trades, this is m one of the major reasons why. Okay, That's only half the strategy. Haikanashi charts will only help you decipher a bullish or harami setup. What you need is the candlestick chart in order to execute your in entry because that's going to give you an accurate price, the actual price right now at the present moment. That's what it's going to tell you. And if you're not doing that, that could make a massive difference between a win and a loss. Okay, so please follow the strategy entirely. Uh, I'm baffled because I get asked so many questions that have been answered over and over and over again in the videos. Um, and I wonder, and when, when I ask people, have you watched the videos, they say, yes, I've watched all of your videos. Some people say, I've watched them multiple times. And then I sit back and I wonder, well, if you've watched it, why are you asking me this question? I've answered it about half a dozen times. I'm not bagging on, down on you guys. What I'm trying to get through is that, guys, you, you're skipping too much. You're skipping too much, and as a result of it, you're actually doing damage to your own bank accounts. You're losing money. Don't lose money, okay? Know your product, know your client, go out there and demo the hell out of your strategy to a point where you're hitting 100% returns. Okay, so the last, when I'm talking about you doing 200 trades, the last 100 trades or so, you should be so confident that even if you go out and you do a live trade and you lose your first live trade, the confidence is there because you know what you're doing and you'll say, hey, I know how to make this strategy work. This was a mistake. The other thing, a lot of you, I know um, sometimes some of the things I say may sound too simple. A lot of you are not writing your trades down. How else are you going to figure out what was the mistake that was made that led to the loss? Never blame the markets, okay? The markets is doing its own thing. It's like saying, hey, I jumped into the river and I drowned. Um, well, we can't blame the river. Uh, it's You should have figured out whether it was too deep, whether the currents were too strong. Understand the markets. It's going to do its own thing. Uh, what you need to do is to figure out what it's going to do. Okay, so don't blame the markets if you lose a trade. Um, understand beforehand what may happen, prepare for it, and then take trades. Now, someone also asked me this question about uh, brokerages and said, oh, I wanted to take this trade, but the, the broker didn't offer me the expiry that I wanted, um, so I took the next expiry. And this should have been a winning trade, but it lost. That's the broker's fault. No, it's not the broker's fault. If the broker is not giving you the expiry that you want, do not take the trade. Again, you are your client. You are responsible to your client. You are responsible to yourself about the money that you lose. Please make this clear to yourself. Look at this like a business. Make this a very small part of your life. Now, uh, before I actually go on to that, I, I want to clarify one more thing about shortcuts. Too many of you guys are, um, are taking shortcuts with your strategy. When I say make the strategy your own, what I'm talking about is you take the initial criteria and you follow that criteria. Follow it, go do a whole heap of trades. But then as you're doing the trades, you may see things in the market. You may want to add indicators. Now understand that indicators are all lagging, meaning to say it will tell you something after the fact. Okay. Where I want you to be is to train your mind exactly on par with the market, not follow an indicator that's going to come into being maybe a few seconds after the, the movements actually happen. I want you to train your mind so that you see the, the movement happening a few seconds before it actually happens. I guarantee you those five or six seconds can make a massive difference, especially in Forex. It can make a massive difference in terms of the number of pips you can pick up and the number of pips you actually lose. So 
that's where I'm trying to get you guys to. So please, um, if you need indicators, add them. But that's just the purposes of learning. Don't rely upon them. Okay? So add to the criteria. See what you can do that works for you, that can guarantee you your three winning trades. Okay? People have been asking me, should I do, do more than that? Look, it's dependent on what my goal is. If my goal is to live a, um, a lux lux luxurious lifestyle, I know how much money I need to make in order to live that sort of a lifestyle, and which which isn't much. Okay, uh, I, I've I've written down um, the return you can make on three two hundred fifty dollar trades. Now think about it this way: How many of you go to work every single day and make six hundred bucks? Think about it, guys. How many of you that are trading right now can go to work and make $600? Let me ask you another question. How many of you can actually make it in 30 minutes or an hour at work? Okay, not many. In order for you to be able to live a luxurious lifestyle, you possibly only need $600 or even less for the day or even just a few times a week. So if you did this, say three trades a day, and just over three days in your week, think about it, $1,800. How much do you make per week right now? This is how I want you to start thinking. Too many are trying to jump on there and make too much money too quickly. Start small. Build up on this. Okay, uh, 600 possibly is too much. Some of you might say, hey, are you only making $150, $200, even $300 a day? Okay, uh, if you are an accountant or a, a professional, you're probably making about 400 a day. Okay, think about it this way two trades at $250 eventually will be $400 a day. Okay, if you're in a foreign country and not in the US somewhere, um, think about it this way if you did this in US dollars or in British pounds, um, think about how much more money you'll make in the conversion. I'm in, I'm in um, Sydney, Australia uh, right now. I'll get about a dollar thirty um, Australian for every U.S. dollar. I'll get about almost two dollars um, Australian for every pound. So I even if I did that, if I did two two hundred fifty dollar trades, made four hundred return. I'll when I convert it back into Australian, it's over five hundred dollars that I'll get. I'll pick up. So think about it that way. Calculate it back into your own currency. Set your goals. No what it is that you need to do and know how much you need to make in order to live a very good life. Now, simple rules, I say this to people, um, try and achieve what you're earning at work right now. So if you're making $200 a day at work, working 8 to 10 hours, then try and uh, replicate that via trading. How many trades would you eventually need to do in order to get that um, $200? I can tell you this, once you learn simply, and, and um, please um, don't get put off by my words, learning the stuff that you need to learn that I'm saying and doing about 200 to 500 demo trades will only take you one month. You don't have to go to university and do a four-year degree to do this. It will only take you one month and only a few hours a day or even less than that just learning what I'm about to say. Okay, it's not so difficult. Think about it that way. Break it down. Establish very realistic goals, and I'm I'm stressing on the word very because it's a lot of people are you know they're thinking about millions. Um, your mind cannot understand what millions means if you don't actually ha have the experience of handling millions of dollars. Okay, take it from me. I'm a former financial advisor. I, I, the bulk of the work I do uh, is, is free healing work. Um, I'm very heavy on um, the work of the subconscious mind, uh, manifestation, things like that. And it is because of all of this combined that I'm able to live the life that I'm living right now. Okay, Understand this also. Uh, trading is a very small part of my life. It's a very, very tiny part of my life. And I do it simply to fund my life. Okay, this isn't my life, and this is part of the reason why I don't have groups. I haven't set up any of that. I, I don't have any immediate plans for webinars or, or charging or any of that. I don't want to do any of that. <clears throat> I, I'm sharing this information simply because, one, uh, I want to see more people out there living similar lives like me because, hey, it makes me feel good. Uh, it is for selfish reasons. I feel good when I'm helping someone. <clears throat> the other thing is this. 
I want you guys to understand that it is possible. I've seen way too many clients in the past when I was an advisor who've had amazing dreams but end up not being able to achieve them because they are their biggest blocks. So I urge you, I beg you guys, please don't become your own block to your own success. Yes, binary options can be a lucrative way of replacing your income. Be smart in the way you approach it. Treat it like a business. Know what it is that you're doing. Know the strategy inside out. Don't jump from group to group. Don't go from multiple signal services to multiple groups to multiple strategies. Don't chase multiple people. Don't go out there and pay anything to learn trading. There is a ton of videos uh, on YouTube that, that's available for free. Uh, don't believe the hype. Don't jump from, hey, if someone says, um, hey, I'm a, a guru at this, don't start following them. Understand this, if someone's got a, a YouTube channel out, if someone's got a Facebook page and they're saying to you, hey, we've got a group, we're making a killing here, come and join my group. Well, think about it, guys. If you were genuinely making a killing, would you waste your time uh, dealing with people and charging them $50 a day? I can tell you this. Some people, I'm doing all of this for free, and people are driving me nuts. I get some of the craziest uh, emails and messages from people. Sometimes I laugh. Sometimes I want to sit there and cry. And I wonder that uh, the people out there that have got groups, how the hell do they deal with some of these people? Now, if they were truly, if, if some of these people are making great amounts of money, they won't have groups. They'd be like, hey, I'm going to be on a boat somewhere. I'm going to be traveling somewhere. I'm going to be reading a book at home. Think about it that way. Don't follow everyone. Follow yourself. Um, don't make anyone a guru. I am not your guru. Okay, I am just someone who's saying, hey, here's a couple of strategies and here are some ways of looking at the market. Okay, this is my view of the markets. Learn from that, take it away and make it your own. Please, again, um, as I finish off, let, let me stress these points again. Please stop live training right now. Grab a strategy jump onto your MT4 or whatever platform you're using, um, set up a demo account, go out, have fun with this, go and demo 200 trades, demo 500 trades, turn on some music, dance if you have to, um, watch the markets, watch the movements, talk to the markets. I do that. I talk to my chart sometimes. You know, it's like I, I, I will ask you, what are you doing? Where are you going? This is me talking to my subconscious mind. And more often than not, I will get an answer. I will get an understanding, intuition, a thought. Something will come along some way saying, this is what it's doing. This is where it's going. Do it. It won't make you crazy. Um, but do whatever you need to do in order to get you two or three winning trades a day. Build yourself up from a $250 eventually. Um, eventually, once you've done your 200 to 500 trades and you've nailed it, you can um, turn on your charts and take your strategy, uh, take trades with your eyes closed, not literally, but pretty much. If you can do that, then go into a live account and say, okay, I'm ready to do this, okay? The reasons why I'm saying demo, one, you're learning how the markets work, two, you're learning and understanding the strategy, but three, you're also learning, uh, paying attention to your in institution, uh, uh, I'm talking too much, I'm forgetting the words. Um, you're paying attention to your intuition. You're paying attention to your instincts. Four, and this is extremely important because everyone goes through this dilemma. When you're demo trading, treat it like a live account. Okay. The fourth thing that will benefit you is that you learn how to control your emotions. Now, I have a secret that is going to come out. Uh, it's being worked on right now. <clears throat> uh, the first part of it's already done. It is a audio subliminal. Okay. Uh, this stuff works. Take my word from, uh, for it. I've been experimenting with it for years. Uh, I've had someone create an MP3 for me right now. Um, it's affirmations that are built in. Um, it they will talk directly to your subconscious mind. So you will, when I eventually deliver it, 
you will just uh, plug in your headphones do whatever you're doing don't pay any attention to it uh, these sounds of birds and raindrops that sort of stuff it's you keep it on low volume you listen to it it's only about seven or eight minutes you listen to it a few times a day what that is doing is giving you positive affirmations to your subconscious mind about your trading ability about how brokers deal with you, about your intuition and being able to pick up on uh, trades before they happen, about uh, maintaining a 100% win rate, about um, how confident you are when you're trading and being in control of your emotions, all of that stuff. So it's pretty much, look at it this way, your subconscious mind will be told what it is to do without your conscious mind having to be a part of that. Okay, that's going to come soon. What uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing, I'm, I'm actually um, doing it right now, is um, I'm going to transform that into an MP4 and uh, there's going to be a lot of energy work that I'm going to do on top of that. So every time you listen to it, you'll get a, 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 a energy heal, that, that healing that happens. Um, there'll be uh, blocks that are removed to success, all of that sort of stuff that will happen every time you listen to just this audio. It's coming. It will make a tremendous difference to your trading game. So those of you that are kind of fearful taking trades, <clears throat> have issues uh, with your emotions, uh, confidence issues, uh, all of that, um, something is coming that is going to help you um, get over that. But that does not mean that um, you shouldn't learn. That doesn't mean that you don't need to demo. That doesn't mean that you don't need to um, master your strategy. You still have to do all of that sort of stuff. Uh, please do it. Please listen to this advice. Um, I appreciate your your thank you um, emails and, and uh, messages, uh, um, but please, I do not want to see people say to me again, uh, I'm losing a whole heap of money, and I continue to live trade as a result of it. Uh, don't lose money, okay? Um, and and uh, last thing before I um, turn the video off, uh, look, if you've genuine got if you have genuine questions about your trading abilities. Um, uh, send me a message. So, um, write it down in the comment section on YouTube as well. When I see it, I will answer that. There are other traders out around as well that can answer your questions. Uh, but don't be afraid to ask genuine questions. Okay? Um, that's the only way that you're going to become a better trader. Analyze every single one of your trades. Because if you say to me, Shiva, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, then one of the first questions I'm going to ask you is, have you written your trades down? Have you analyzed them? And then I'm going to ask you, well, you tell me where do you think you're going wrong? Now, if you do all of that, I'm happy to help you. Okay, I don't have any issues helping you guys. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking for genuine people who want to genuinely change their lives. Okay? All the best, guys.